Yak Shamash, how's everybody tonight? Here at uh, Tony Towers apartment, uh, we, uh, we got uh, we did a reading for uh, hmm, what should we do today? Hmm. The Pisces, now we do uh, Capricorn, our friends in the deep south, uh, yes, the deep south. Uh, Of today, <laughs> wow, Ooh. yeah, mother's milk. and nostalgia. What? Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Holy Spirit, I, I uh, ask you to hook me up with the uh, soul cycle of uh, Capricorns. Capricorn. Uh, the collective. sideways the magician sideways so you might have a magician blocking you with the heart of the moon because it came out sideways so it could be some magician blocking you maybe using some uh, low vibrating energies I don't know we'll have to go in deeper on this one let's see here mm, Capricorns what you got uh, somebody blocking you uh, I think it's a love spell. They're blocking you from uh, finding any other suitors. Yes. That's bad. So I'd return to sender. If you know who it is, think of it and just say return to sender. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's not good. I don't like it when people do stuff like that. That's, that's underhanded. Okay. What do we got for uh, the challenge for our uh, deep south dwellers, the Capricorns? Oh, oh. What, uh, uh, what do we got in the challenge? Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Okay, so the challenge is holy cannoli. This guy's been popping up all day today. Somebody's like really doing these uh, cheapskate uh, yoga moves here. It's like, I don't know what the heck. Mm. It's looked like he, he turned his pentacles into snowshoes. Must have been a blizzard or something. I don't know. Or maybe he's, uh, oh, how's he doing that? Is he trying to look like a, a fire hydrant? Yes, he's like, he's uh, becoming one with his environment and he's like, 
He probably seen that there was uh, some spetsnaz coming down the street and just got got in a drop from a helmet from a chopper. So he probably just went there like this, like, oh, I'm a fire pole, I'm a fire hydrant, I'm a fire hydrant, I'm a fire hydrant. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how many times I've seen that. But uh, yeah, it never works, so you'd be best off just throwing your pentacles and letting uh, the Ruskies take them for now. And then on their way out, then you hijack their, vi their, uh, their uh, what you might call it, their um, tanks, and you get it back then. But yeah, the fire hydrant one never works, I'm sorry, my friend. Believe me, I've tried that one myself too. <laughs> Barely got out of there. Oh. Well, let's see this one. Uh, but you also got uh, 10 cups of love. So I don't know. Maybe there's a lady fire hydrant out there somewhere who kind of was like, Whoa, looking out the window and like, ooh, who's that sexy, sexy curb dweller there? Mm. And then you're looking across the street back at her and she's like, ah. You're like, oh, I want to hook my hose up to that. <laughs> okay, and you might have an air sign and uh, a couple here, an air sign and a water sign, possibly, or the challenge, too. These guys don't really get along that good. Actually, this one might, not the queen of swords and the queen of, uh, if it was the queen of air, it wouldn't be good, because one's uh, the queen of air, is all uh, intellectual and the queen of water is all like uh, emotional so it's like fire and ice it's like one wants to bitch slap the other one and the other one just wants to cry <laughs> but with this guy he's in control of his feelings so he can uh, he would probably just uh, play possum and kind of like maybe try and find uh, her under her softer side, right? If the Queen of Swords has one, she does have a soft side, believe it or not. It's just hard to find because uh, if you're genuine, you can find her soft side. But if you're be, not being genu genuine, she'll see right through that bullshit. If you're trying to pull a fast one on her shelf, there's no fool in that woman. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's quite a couple there. Well, if the magician blocking you, these guys might actually be a good team. Uh, what do we got then? Uh, the, um, oh, wait a sec here. Oh, yeah, we got ten of cups, and then this guy's broke. This guy's broke, but look, he's got a lot of love. So, I don't know. One of them's got broke as fuck. The other one's got a lot of love. So, I don't know. Whoever's got a lot of love, I'm thinking it's the king of cups. He's got a lot of love. Queen of Swords is probably broke because, uh, I don't know, she probably just, she's not good at collecting, right, because if somebody lies to her and says, oh no, you know, you'll never believe what happened, I'll have your money next week, I promise, she'll just be like, she see right through that, she'll whoosh, well, well then you don't get your money, right, she's bad with that, that's the one thing she's bad at, okay, so, uh, and that's all in the challenge, so, Wow, yeah, so it might, it might look like a codependent relationship, I'm thinking. Yeah, so you might have to take care of the queen of, queen of uh, swords, but you know what? I don't think she's the type to be taken care of. And if you try to take care of her, she might just take care of you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what do we got in uh, subconscious for uh, our Capricorns? Oh. Is, uh, Capricorn, Jimmy Capricorn, and I don't get oh, the world. So subconsciously, you're thinking about ending on a cycle. You're like, you know what? She's she's very really beautiful. I really like her. She's uh, she's highly intellectual, and you have great like uh, intriguing conversations. But the thing is, is that you have to be very honest. You have to be very honest. That's why. Yeah, very, very, very honest. And. Uh, if you're an honest man, which you should be, because it's a good quality, uh, you shouldn't have any problems, but you're not going to fool her. You're not going to say, oh, no, it's just, uh, uh, you know, making bullshit stories like a lot of people do these days. It's not going to work on her. But, hey, if you're down by the beach, the 
kids may have a new volleyball to play with. <laughs> what do they got in the uh, past here for uh, Capricorns, Jimmy Capricorn, and I don't care. Okay, wow, okay. So I'm thinking, uh, still no earth sign here. I guess you're the magician, so you're blocking something. Are you blocking something for this beautiful couple here, Capricorn? Mm, you are, aren't you? Are you being at a cock block? Oh, Capricorn. That's one of my, my seven deadly sins that I do not condone any cock blocking. It's one thing. But anyways, let's get on with this. You're going to have to have a decision to make. You're going to have to end the cock blocking. Oh, you're going to uh, not be able to close out this cycle. You have to let nature take its course, Capricorn. You can't interfere in other people's relationships, I'm just saying. Uh, so, that's your decision in the, um, uh, the past. It's a past, but you already made that decision, right? So you decided to, uh, no, I'll pick button number three, you said. I'll just pay them all off and make them happy. There you go, king of cups and queen of swords. There you go, here's, uh, 50 rubles for you and 50 rubles for you. Now go get yourself a case of beer and you know what? Just uh, have a good day, guys, and forget I was even here. Hey, that's very, very kind of you. Uh, and uh, then you're like, well, you called down judgment, or somebody called down judgment. You must, I don't know, it seemed like you were blocking somebody's love. And that's one thing the divine don't like is when people block love, because the world needs more of it, right? And it looks like you tried to make a quick getaway here, did something underhanded. Or somebody did, I'm not saying it's you. I'm not the judge and jury. This guy is though. <laughs> yeah, he's more like the prison guard warden or whatever, but he takes his orders directly from, you know. So, I don't know, I hope you get away in time, because before they release the Kraken, wow! Okay, what do we got in, uh, um, in, how are you influencing this situation there, Capricorn? Let's see. Oh. Waiting for your ships to come in. Oh. Okay, what do we got influencing this situation, Capricorn? Oh, oh, oh. oh nice. Well, everybody's beating up haters today, so I guess you guys are... Whatever, I'm proud of you. You got, a, you got a good number of haters here too. It looks like about the same number as me and Dr. Death both had these. So maybe we'll uh, join forces and uh, create like, uh, what do you call that? Uh, you know, like when all the Transformers uh, join together and make that one big robot. We'll make like uh, one big hater smasher and we'll, we'll just like, G -g 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 you know what I mean? You could try it, I don't know, I'm up for it. Just letting you know if you're in the job. Uh, but also influencing this is a uh, high priestess. So that's good. Listen, she's shy, but you know what? When people see the high priestess around, they don't want to fight in front of her because she's, you know, people have respect for that. So she might stop the fight, so that's good. You might say, uh, Judge not lest you be judged. Would you please stop smacking those haters on the head, she might say. I'm trying to read a book here in the park uh, and have a smoke. And I just, I can't, all the screaming and yelling, I just can't take it anymore, please. And she's such a sweetheart, you'd be like, oh, of course, of course, I'm so sorry. And you, know, you might let your haters uh, like, have, have a little breathing room, just out of respect. At least that's what I advise you to do. Uh, what do we got in uh, hopes and fears? Hopes and fears. Uh, wow! And then the holy crow. He got another couple match there. The high priestess and uh, hierophant. Wow! That's like uh, Ned Flanders and Maud there. Uh, I don't know what's that preacher's name. I can't remember the one from The Simpsons. 
We are gone to here today. But, uh, he's a good I like him. Yeah, he's got the very like boring voice. <laughs> he says that he'll lull you into sleep, right? Uh, well, that's good though. It's good to have, uh, you know. That's the, definitely, you're gonna have to stop hitting your haters in the head. If this, she comes by and then this guy comes by, you can't do that in front of kids, you know what? That's just respect, man. Just wait until, just say, oh, hello, I was just helping them put their hats back on. And, and then when they go around the corner, then you start walking them again. There you go. What do we got in, uh, hmm, let me see here. Uh, hmm. Oh, how, what lens are you looking through? You're probably looking to see when they're gonna turn the corner there's the lens I'm thinking. Yeah, let's see. Oh, that's way too many spirit. Oh, this one? Okay. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, that's actually Dr. Death's uh, date for tonight. He's, uh, him and Tony Towers are going on a date. This was Dr. Death's uh, date there. She's like, uh, yeah, she's a little shy too, I think, but I don't know. She'll open right up with that because he's, a, he's, a, he's actually a really good, good, nice guy under that big dark uh, cloak there, you know. He's, he just gets a bad rap, but somebody's got to do it right. Uh, okay. What do we got here in the environment for our Capricorns? Uh, let's go. Uh, oh. Oh, quit coming in messages. So you might be getting a text message saying, uh, you've just won $20,000 or something like that. And you go there and it's some stupid thing. You haven't won fuck all. And they try and suck you into some stupid deal that you don't even want. I hate that. What if you actually did win $20,000 and you always just ignore those, right? I bet you there's been a hundred times I really won $20,000. But I'm not gonna look through all those bloody emails. Okay, let's go. So what do we got in the uh, outcome of the situation? Oh, give me at least three to the two. Okay. We got, uh, whoa, oh, this doesn't look good. We'll have to pull clarifier on this. We got two knights facing each other. And one is fire and one is water. And fire and water don't mix very good. Yes. This one's all about feelings. Like, uh, say, picture them as like, uh, this one's the girl, this one's the guy. This guy's like, hey, sugar plum, let's go bang or whatever. Because he's all fiery and he's adventurous. Right? He's just like, come on, let's do this quick. She's like, well, no, I would. I, I'm just not that type of person. I, uh, I, uh, I need you to. And he's like, I got a stick. You better come here right now. I want to get on with another adventures. But first I must conquer you. And she's like, no, no, no. And then she splashes the cup of, uh, it actually, it's not even water in that cup or wine. It's bear mace. So she's like, ah, and he's like, ah, on the ground. And why? I don't know if that's really going to happen. But uh, yeah, look for a confrontation here. You got that. Oh, or it could go this way. But that's not the way it came out. That's, that would be, this would be what would probably happen if uh, if uh, the bear mace thing happened. He'd be running around like, ah, running into trees and stuff. Because he can't see. And he's probably the horse too. He's probably just going nuts. He's like, ah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, unless he's like uh, some sick. Uh, serial rapist or something and he's like become a, and developed an immunity to bear mace or some shit like that which then whatever get them good then but yes uh, we'll do. that's what I say anyways let's pull clarifier let's see what's gonna happen what's gonna happen in this battle here between these two uh, knights of the elemental table oh. uh, we don't need the front Whoa. Okay, what do we got, Spirit? What's gonna happen in this uh, skirmish? Whoa, the fool! Wow, so, barking on a new adventure, so. Wow, I guess maybe the Knight of Cups will be like, okay, whatever, we'll just 
Just stop be gentle. No, no, because they're two dudes, right? So, mm, a, a fool, so fools rush in, so they are gonna fight. You know what I mean? Because a fool no carry, he'll do anything, right? He's never been in a fight before. He's like, sure, I'll try it out. Let's do it. Uh, let's see. What else? Anything else about this? Ooh, and it seems like it's over an empress. So yeah, it's gonna be a good slobber knocker. Because I need it. The empress is the best tits in the tarot. She's the, the full package. She could embody all four queens in the deck. So it's definitely a good prize. So, I don't know. Maybe it'll be on pay-per-view. <laughs> okay, what do we got in the underlying energies? I'm gonna shuffle these because like that. No. Okay, what's this? King of Swords. He's a very just king. So he sees two guys fighting down there and he's like, you know what, there's already a fight over here, there's a fight over there. Now you guys are fighting. It's like, I'm a just king. Would you guys just cut it out? And now listen to him because like, he demands respect and he is a respectable individual. The king of uh, swords, like he sometimes represents the, the man upstairs, you know what I mean? Or Archangel Michael sometimes. Or, even just a judge or sometimes law enforcement, the police officer. So, so he does demand respect, okay? So they, they, they will listen to me. Or he'll just like, whatever, man. He's easy. That sword, sword isn't for show, right? <laughs> if they don't want to give him respect, he'll just take it. <laughs> so that's all I got for you guys there. But judgment's being handed down. Maybe that's what it's being handed down for. Maybe there's just too much hate going on. And we need a, someone, a just individual to just put an end to it. Maybe make an example of somebody. The ones who are stopping it saying, no, this isn't going to happen anymore. Increase the peace, brother. That's what I say.